New at six, a Huntsville woman wants answers after losing her home in a fire. Way 31's Ashley Carter looked at the damage today. She learned this fire affected the homeowner's mission and life. From the outside, it looks as though there's not much damage that has been done. But when I took a look inside, I quickly found out that was not the case. It happened so fast. It was so traumatic. I just don't have words. Tanya Alton Smith was upstairs in her home Sunday night in the middle of devotion when somebody shouted fire. She quickly called 911 and got out the house. Now the room where she once collected donations from her coworkers to give to people on the streets is now in ruins. I just don't have any words. Kind of speechless today. Alton Smith wasn't the only one affected by the fire. For a year, she has taken in what she calls the displaced. People she says society has turned their back on and helps them get back on their feet. Now her and the others living in the home are the ones in need of help. The displaced and the person who's running it, now we're all homeless, you know, because we don't have another place to go to. But even in the midst of tragedy, they're keeping their heads high. I just believe something good going to come out of all this. These things happen, you know, so I'm more like, more satisfied because I know what God can do. Alton Smith told me the thing that is bothering her more than anything is not knowing what the cause of the fire was. She says she is happy that nobody was hurt, but she does not know what is next for her or the community that she helps. In Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News. The American Red Cross was able to get some hotel rooms Sunday night for the people who lived in that home. Others stayed down the street with Smith's mother. Firefighters have not said when Smith can move back in.